you guys are looking for a stacked NBA 2K or Fortnite account, make sure you go to sportstmb.com. That's right. No more Twitter. He has an official business website, sportstmb.com. There you'll be able to view all the accounts, see the prices, and get what you need. The link is in the description. Go click it and see what he has to offer. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another NBA 2K19 video, the first double upload we have done in a long time. Now, let me first quick mention that the video this morning, I didn't realize that my mic was broken, okay? I apologize that the audio was a little off, my voice sounded weird, but we got a new mic and we are good to go. Now, Prime videos, I haven't uploaded as many as I would like to, but you have to realize it's kind of hard to get a good game now because... Most of the good teams lost all their players to the 2K League. They got drafted. But if you want to see games against really good teams, really good players from earlier in the year, I have a whole playlist of games playing of us playing against really, really good competition. Now, today's video is against a good team. They are playing in the WR League, which is a comp pro-am league. You have to pay to enter, and then the winner gets a couple thousand dollars. So, obviously, they know what they're doing. Now, as you can see, I'm basically running with subscribers. I'm running with my boy Lockdown, and then... I basically tweet out what archetypes I need and people tweet out back and I just pick up subscribers. Obviously, I check, you know, if they obviously know what they're doing. I'm not going to play with guys that are just not good at the game at all because it's going to be tough. But as you can see, they started a new team. They're 11 and 0 and the family WR. I, I don't know where they are in the WR league. I have no idea. I just they, they have WR in their name. So I'm assuming they play in the WR league. But obviously, they have BH clan members and EG clan members and I don't really know much about the whole clan scene, but they're clan players, so I'm assuming they're going to be pretty good, and this game was actually a pretty competitive game, so I'm bringing it to you guys. Hopefully, you enjoy. Now, I'm running the point on my pure point forward. We got my boy Lockdown. You guys know Lockdown at the two on a pure lock. Then we picked up Isolation Pain on a sharp lock. CBB Void is on a sharpshooting rim protector, and then Stage Drama is on a pure stretch. So, we have a decent little lineup, and we started off with a nice little cut right down the middle. They're they're trying to change matchups and figure out a zone right off the rip, so we're going to see we're able to find openings here like this in transition pull-up. We're not able to knock it down. They're going to throw the full court pass, go right back the other way, and go up for the two-hand dunk. So right off the rip, back and forth game, two to two. Now, we're setting up in a little bit of a five out because we see that their 2-3 their zone that they're trying to set up in isn't really isn't really going to work against that five out. Now he gets a little crab dribble, pulls up from three, back and forth game right off the rip. Again, backdoor cut, CBB void on the right hand dunk. We go up six to five, back and forth, nice little start. I like the competitive games. It makes it a lot more interesting. They, they're working a lot of pick and roll as opposed to us that we're in a five out right now. I'm running with my pure point forward so I can get to the basket at will. Again, their zone is a little messed up. I think they're still changing matchups. As you guys, if you guys play prom, you know you have to change matchups so that you know you don't have any mismatches anywhere i think that's what they're trying to do and they just can't seem to figure it out even though we're a couple minutes into the game here so we're able to get the open three there again backdoor cut lockdown on the lay-in we got four assists in the first four minutes of the game so that's a good start for me i'm looking to score but of course if i see openings for my teammates i'm gonna hit them all day one of the most enjoyable things about pro for me is the the strategy matchup there's not really any cheese in pro-am like you can't like on the twos court, you can abuse things that would allow you to win a game, even if you're not the better team. But in Pro-Am, the better team usually wins because you can, any type of, and there's nothing that's really overpowered is my point. So it's like, you know, it's all about strategy and exploiting mismatches. And obviously team defense is very important. So I hit lockdown there, but he didn't get the dunk off before the end of the quarter. So we go in only up by three. We start off the second quarter with a nice little Euro step to put us up by five. Now we're pressing full court. And as you can see, my man's toenails hits the backcourt. So we get the backcourt violation to get the ball back up by five, 18 to 13. We're going to a little bit pick and pop, pick and roll game here. I get to the basket, get the green lay in, put us up by seven. So we're making a little run here, but they're, they're not going away by any stretch. We get a block. They get the offensive rebound. Great pass. To the corner he pulls up from three knocks that down so they're hanging in there they're only down by four now it's a back and forth contest crab dribble again this sharp shooting playmaker was doing really well in the first half i'm not gonna lie he was hitting some threes he was causing a lot of problems in the pick and roll but as you can see i cut down the middle the corner helps off we dot corner boom green three we get it right back now you're gonna see we start to kind of figure out this pick and roll game that they're running it's it's a relatively simple offense but that's what most teams run it's pick and roll and then occasionally the stretch big is gonna wrap off the off the uh opposite hash so you're gonna see how we have to deal with that here but look at good defense yet again we're really starting to figure out what they're trying to do he tries to backdoor cut it's not there we're literally all over everything shot clock winding down four three two one all over it air ball shot clock violation great defense there we're starting to really figure it out defense is everything when it comes to prom if you can get stops in the half court you're going to get out in transition and be all set 
Shot clock winding down. I get to the basket on the behind the back with a right hand dunk. We go into halftime up by six. So not the cleanest half for us. But we felt like we were getting easy buckets and we felt like our defense was starting to pull together towards the end of the half. So if we could keep that up, we felt like we could pull away. The point guard has 12 points, so we got to figure that out. He's 5 for 7. He's shooting the ball really well. But as you're going to see, we start off the second half playing great defense. Lockdown gets the steal. They have to foul void. So we start off the half perfectly. I get an ankle breaker, drive in, collapse the defense, kick out, void, 3. We get a steal and a 3 to start the second half. Great start. But they're not going away. They're composed. They know what they're doing. Backdoor cut. Get the lay-in. Cut it to seven. They end up getting another bucket, cutting it to five. We go back to the pick and roll. I go behind the back. Patience. Let them hedge and recover. Go up with the uncontested dunk. We will take that all day to go up by seven. In the pick and roll. I'm on the weak side. I help over. Get the contest. We get the rebound. We're in business now. Up by seven. Here, we're going to start to make our run. Throw it to the top. Lock down on the penetration. I wrap around. Kick out. Open three. Green top of the key bang just like that we're up 10 and this is where we're really going to start to make our run and like i said it's all defense we're getting stops and now we're getting easy buckets pick and roll good slip by cbb void he gets the dunk puts us up by 12 i get an ankle breaker here on my defender he bumps me hit void on the cut he's going to pull it back out not forcing anything but i get a wide open cut right hand dunk up by 14 here to end the third quarter he's going to drive in defense collapse recover lockdown with a great block stage drama with the rebound outlet i'm off left hand layup just like that what a run in about two or three minutes to go up by 16 going into the fourth quarter here now it's going to be really about clock management making sure we don't turn the ball over and just communicate with each other on defense to continue to box them up you see the point guard had 12 in the first half he did not score in the third quarter we did a great job on that pick and roll like i said the stretch big is going to start to wrap around the pick and roll uh i mean this is the offense a lot of teams run they got the backdoor cuts from the corners but he's jab stepping and i don't know why that just did that but it was like a little glitch in the game and gave him a travel animation because the screen pushed me into him i don't know it was weird but i saw us up i get to the basket right hand dunk so we are still cooking we are in business managing the clock off the missed free throw get the rebound throw it ahead lockdowns patient he's gonna throw it over to isolation pain i'm gonna wrap around frank's screen go back door isolation pain sees me go up with the right hand lay in that puts us up by 19 points with three minutes left so it's just about managing clock and continuing to play good d backdoor cut good backdoor cut and gets a dunk there and keep them relatively in it but they have to get stops i have takeover when i get takeover i can basically get to the basket at will as you can see hesitation drive in with the right hand dunk that gives us 27 points and seven assists two minutes left up by 19 just playing solid defense good contest by void they get the long rebound so they're still in it this guy's gonna try to drive baseline he can't really get anything we're playing solid defense but you're gonna see over in the right corner stage drama is gonna fall asleep get backdoor cut it on by the corner man gets the right hand dunk cuts it to 17 they're kind of still in it i mean just under two minutes left they really need threes and stops to be able to get back in it they do find a three here miscommunication on defense so that cuts it to 14 with a minute 30 left it could get dicey here depending on how we play this I'm going to drive in, step back, pull it over to Lockdown, whose defender helped on me. He hits the three, and that basically seals the deal. 17-point lead with a minute left. There's really not much they can do. We could just hold the ball, let the clock run out. We don't even have to shoot the ball, honestly, and and we, you know, they wouldn't be able to get enough possessions. They end up getting a corner three there to cut it to 14, but like I said, it was just a little bit too late. But good, uh, you know, a good game to these guys, obviously. Uh, good luck in WR or whatever they're playing in, whatever leagues. But uh, it was fun. I mean, basically, like I said, on Twitter, I just tweet out what, what archetypes I need for that night. Like if I have, you know, if it's me locked down and we have a center, then I'll tweet out that, you know, we need another shooter or whatever. So make sure you guys go follow me on Twitter. The link's in the description. As you can see, they just dribbled out the clock because they knew the game was over. But their point guard played really well in the first half. He had 12 points. You know, he was on pace to have a 20-something point game. But lockdown really clamped him up in the second half on that pick and roll defense. It was also obviously our team defense, but it was also, you know, lockdown did a good job on him. Kept him at 12 points. We had 27.7 assists but we had five turnovers which obviously is not great but we got the win so i'm going to continue to try to bring you guys these prime videos but like i said it's kind of hard to get matched up against teams that are actually like i don't like that are actually good and and competitive because a lot of games are just blowouts i mean this is one of our more you know closer games and it was still a 16 point win but i hope you guys enjoyed man please drop a like if you want to see more pro -Am, definitely comment down below i will continue to try to bring as much pro -Am as i can but 27 points eight assists i mean we had a pretty good game five turnovers we got to work on that but 13 to 15 shooting hey we'll take it point forward for the win baby you guys have a good day i'm out peace